Morning, folks. We're getting closer and closer uh, to getting everything we need. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun day uh, for me because I'm doing some things that I, I like fabricating. I like coming up with stuff, and it may not be that big a deal to some folks, but to me, it's it's kind of fun. So, come along with me. tail light if you watched our last vlog um, carrying the porta potty down to the uh, homestead so I went by Harbor Freight where I got the rest of this stuff and uh, got a new one 14 bucks and to protect it when we were cleaning out the uh, warehouse um, they had a bunch of these that they were supposed to go in the vans and they were for a Gojo um, Say hand sanitizer or hand cleanser uh, canister. Um, so I think it's going to work out nice. I'm going to modify it. I'm going to redneck it and mount it around the light. I'm going to shorten it up, but I think it's going to work pretty good to protect these lights. So some junk that everybody else would throw away uh, it's just a little wire cage but it'll make a really good guard I'm hoping for our tail lights and I won't have to be buying $14 tail lights anymore so going to work on that and then I'm going to mount my spare tire to the tongue because I don't have any more room in the, my trunk the old Lincoln so I'm going to get started on this I'm going to do some cutting on these kind of got to get some uh, put some holes some different holes in in the back of these and we'll get this new tail lock mounted so we'll get with it so it's got to have enough room to fit in here and I don't know if we need this big one or this big one end I should cut off. So now what's really important is the placement of, of this, where we're going to mount it. So we're going to do it on the back. I believe that's where it's going to be. other hole and what I'm doing I'm just taking this bolt and I'm scratching the paint off this hole will actually work and the position's good it just so happens I love finding things I'm always on the lookout for things I could use that for something 
Well, here I am now using it for something. People say, what do you want that for? Here's what I want it for. Just didn't know it at the time. So I got my drill bit. I got a smaller drill bit than what's needed, but I love using these little reaming tools. Um, you can actually drill a hole with these reaming tools, but uh, I like to drill a hole first. Drill a hole right in here, right in line with this other one. Change over to my reaming tool. Check it out here. It's off somewhat. Let's make both holes a little bigger. And voila. So how we're gonna do this is um we're actually gonna take and slide, there's a little gap here. I'm gonna slide it on there. Try to give it a little added. Keep wanting to put that light on there back. Take and grab some tools, a wrench, get that tightened up. So here they are, folks, all wired up. What do you think? I've got quite a few of these. Thinking about maybe modifying them and selling them for trailer light guards. $10 a pair. Worth a shot. They mount fairly easy and you ain't got to do much to modify them. There it is. Garden of light. We'll see how it works. It's going to protect against brush. Protect against things falling on it. The biggest problem here is stuff hitting it and falling down on it. So I think it's going to keep stuff from resting on the light. You can see it's twisting that whole that whole thing so I kind of like it and they can be modified to fit any bolt pattern or anything so I think I may take and try and modify them and throw them on the old Etsy shop moving on to this project right here I've got to mount got to find me some bolts that are long enough and I got to mount my spare tire right there where it's sitting fairly easy project uh, it's not too hard so I'm gonna go in here get out my old handy dandy bucket of bolts See what I can find. What I come up with, folks, I'm going to use these two bolts and got this bracket coming out of that warehouse. And I'm going to cut this in two. And I won't need a washer to hold the tire down. I'll just use half of it to hold down the tire. So, pretty good shape right there. It's going to be a nice little wide bracket to hold down the tire and I won't need a washer rednecking it take stuff that somebody else might have thrown away put it to good use that's the theme of the day so cut it in two and that's going to be my nut for my tire holder and I won't need a washer I kind of rounded up the edges right there to kind of smooth it up where it wouldn't cut your hand. 
Now I gotta do is measure out where this goes, mark it. I'm going to take and flip that over so that the valve stem is down and protected by this. Um, it's not sitting on the valve stem there. But now the valve stem's protected and I don't have to worry about it getting tore off by brush or somebody coming along and kicking it. And it's gonna make a nice little tire mount right what there. What I've done here is I found the exact center of this cross member which lines directly up with that bolt. And I've marked it out two inches, it's exactly four inches between my holes. And I've, I've marked, the, these lines are four inches. Then I marked the exact center of this beam, which was a inch and five eighths. And that's where my holes are gonna be for my bolts. Get these holes drilled, get this tire mounted. I got my holes drilled, my bolts in. Got a keeper nut on there. They won't fall out. There it is, here's our little bracket. So this right here enables us to tighten this down and loosen it without having a tool. If you're on the side of the highway, you don't want to have to dig for a bunch of tools. There we go. go tires on there let's see what the wife says about it she's my quality control officer she's gonna come inspect my work what do you think So what I did is I took a, an old direct TV bracket for a rail mount, cut it in two, nice. made those, you can just spin them off. Well thank you all for stopping by, hope you like the little trailer light build there, light uh, guard build and uh, the tire mount, that's what I do, I redneck. Make sure you hit the old subscribe button. Remember to hit the like button. And if you know if you, if you are subscribed and you haven't hit the notification bell, hit the old notification bell. Let you know when we're putting out a video. I guess that's all until next time. We'll see you. Then.